What is up everyone? JD here. I hope you're all doing well today. Today I'm excited to bring you a new knife unboxing. I recently unboxed and handled a Sativian ST102 that I really liked, so I thought I would use that as my official unboxing knife today and go ahead and reveal that I did pick up another one that really piqued my interest. This is the Sativian ST124. So without any delay, let's go ahead and unbox this bad boy and have a look at it. Really impressive action and build quality for the money for Sativian. Um, I hadn't really checked them out before the 102, and this has really piqued my interest as a budget brand. I know I've checked out Kubis and Petrified Fish, but man, this thing is really impressive. So, let's go ahead and dive in here and check this one out. So again, you get this stretchy... I don't know what kind of cloth it is, but they include a cleaning cloth, and really, for the money... Uh, they could have just sent the knife and I would have been happy So as you can see here this one also I did get in the black g10 and it has the black g10 backspacer has the exact same style deep carry pocket clip I like this style because it it's really low profile and it still catches the pocket really nicely to go in and out it out of it This one again does have thumb studs But as you will notice or probably have already noticed this has a crossbar style lock to it which is really what intrigued me to have a look at it if you're enjoying this type of content do me a favor leave me a like it really does help with the YouTube algorithm and if you're enjoying content like this consider subscribing and turning on those notifications so you get alerts when future videos drop this is an unboxing if you're not familiar with my channel I just basically have a look at the knife give it a once over and let you share in the experience of opening the, the knife what will happen is I'll carry it, use it for a little while, come back and give my full review. So the, one of the other things that I'm noticing that's a little bit different from the ST102 is the fact that there is a little bit, well first there's a lanyard hold back here, which is apparently obvious, and then the crossbar style lock. Hardware is a little bit different too, this, one's look, this pivot looks a little bit more oversized than this, and that's probably because they needed the clearance for that again crossbar style lock the other thing that I'm noticing too is they did chamfer down a little bit so that you could get to that crossbar and they chamfered down a little bit on the edge but not all the way through whereas on this one it is chamfered down all the way through so some differences there let's go ahead and flip this and see what it's like this one here has thumb studs whereas the other one has the flipper tab not bad I like that blade shape too I, I noticed that in the picture when I was looking at their knives which is what intrigued me to pick this particular one up. This one here is D2 steel, just like the 102. Let's check the crossbar lock style, um, crossbar lock action out. Okay, so this has definitely more detent feel to it than what I'm used to. So you gotta bring it all the way in. You can't let it go and let it slide. So it must have more of a catch as it's going across right there so yeah they flatten it which what i'm used to on crossbar locks is it's completely round all the way up till the very end so you have to make sure that you are catching it oh and that not hit the table <laughs> oh let me raise it up i see what's wrong I have it angled down because on the unboxings i want you to be able to see the box let's try it now yeah plenty of space to check that out not bad um the access to the crossbar lock is a little bit tight i think if they knocked it down just a little bit more in this area it'd be easier to get to but you have the thumb studs to deploy and if you're not really into all of that fuss and muss you can just pull the bar back and close it normal um, the action's pretty good. Let's see if we can see what this is on. As tight as the tolerances are, I want to say that they're probably on some type of washer, but not 100% sure which one. When I say that, you can see here the tolerances, there's more gap in between the knife and the liner. So that lets you know that there's some bearing action happening there more than likely. I'll double check that, but I feel like because of how fall shut this is, 
uh, this has got to be some type of washer action action because you really have to make sure you give it a nice flick to get past the brake and then it does fall shut but and maybe it's just the the springs they definitely feel strong compared to what I'm normally used to from a crossbar lock really interesting knife I'll be excited to carry it and review it review it bit it carry it and review it for a little while and really give you my thoughts and impressions of the knife it's definitely gonna take a little getting used to uh, the uh, the lock system having that flat piece right there Let's see if I can show you one more time it, right here it feels like it's just hitting a wall and then it closes and that's because it's flat right there where it comes around on the edge you can maybe see it right there I'll try to zoom in and get you a good shot of that nice size stop pin on it it seems fairly well built so that's the unboxing um if you're interested in the review and comparisons to other knives and comparable knives make sure that you're uh subscribed and have your notification bell sele uh, selected to all and i will give you the full shakedown of the st124 I appreciate all of you tuning in and all of you who have already subscribed. You are all amazing. Thank you for all the support. I hope you have a fantastic week. Until next time, peace.